Okay, I am so excited right now. I just can't even. So stick with me because I gotta tell you why I am so excited. And honestly, it is a huge, huge deal for me. I've been preparing for this moment, honestly, for the past six months. And the moment is here. So find somewhere comfy to listen or even play it in your car while you're driving somewhere to get all that back to school shopping done because it's time to get on into the reason why I'm so excited. You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. So I'm Kathy McGivern and I am your host of this podcast. You might also know me as Ms. Artastic and I am the creator of everything in Artastic Nation, including my Facebook group, Artastic Nation, my blog, MsArtastic.com, my Teachers Pay Teachers store, also called Ms. Artastic, and of course my membership for art teachers called the Artastic Collective. So welcome back, my lovely friend. I am so excited uh, right now, honestly. I'm losing my mind. So the reason why I'm so pumped is that the response to the Artastic Collective has been amazing. And so far, I'm seeing so many art teachers that are saying yes to the transformation for their year. The reason why they are experiencing a transformation is that they are saying goodbye to all that lesson planning, all that searching on Pinterest or on Facebook groups, trying to find ideas, working every evening on weekends, spending endless hours after school, at school, um, or just even sticking together a whole bunch of low quality free resources they find online that are one pagers that really just don't tie together and don't have like really the quality that you need to teach a proper art lesson. Instead, they're choosing to transform their world by enrolling in the membership that is going to allow them a culturally diverse curriculum that explores a range of art making styles, artists and art history movements, in addition to the elements of art and principles of designs and of course themes. So one of the most important things for me, uh, I'm just gonna dive in a little bit on like my process of creating. Um, as I am a professional artist on my own time in addition to being a teacher, um, but also like I try, I spend a lot of time just really reflecting and thinking about the process of creating and designing art lessons for kids. Um, so one of the most important things for me when designing art lessons is that I am creating with kids in mind. I want to make sure that I am creating a range of different styles and types of art lessons. I want to make sure that I'm using both different art mediums in one art project, but also I want to make sure that I'm creating either through the style of the artist that is being focused on in the art lesson um, or through the style of the art movement. Okay, so that is super important for me. And I think that it's very important that kids are exposed to a range of different art making processes and styles because we're never really, we never really know what is going to speak to them and what they're going to make a connection to and what is going to really guide their own artistic intuition. For instance, in my own personal life, I love to create lowbrow, surrealist, creepy animals. I love to paint them. I love to create them as large ceramic figures. That being said, I don't think that style is for everybody. And not everybody is going to love my art, but some people will love my art and some people, um, it's just not for them. So, and that's, that's okay. All of us connect to different styles of art making and different mediums and, and materials from different artists and art movements. And I think that as art teachers, we really need to be conscious of exposing kids to a range of art movements and styles so that they can begin to figure out what style and medium speaks to them. So when they begin creating their own artworks from their imagination, they're going to be able to create with a connection to certain movements or styles. 
hopefully that will plant the seed that will then blossom into their own style of art making and it will grow with them and of course evolve with them as they grow and grow as little humans. For me, I'm never going to ever forget that feeling that I had and I believe it was in grade 10. I did not have a lot of choice of what electives I could pick for my grade 10 year and um, uh, some of my friends it said they were taking ceramics. I didn't even really know what that was honestly. Um, couldn't google it because that was still new. <laughs> and then of course I didn't have a phone because <laughs> that didn't happen. But um, I just honestly said sure whatever because that was my state of being in grade 10 which I'm sure you can relate to. We just want to all get it over with sometimes right. And that was what I was, I was just, I think I wanted, I can't remember what I wanted to take to be honest, but I couldn't take it because I was in French immersion and I couldn't take, it was conflicting because there was only so much French immersion programs. Anyways, long story short, um, I got into ceramics and the very first day he passed around clay, my art teacher, and I started playing with it and honestly, that was it. And it's just like the material spoke to me and I could create whatever I wanted to in my imagination with this medium and he let me paint like my teacher was amazing he let me create these gory gory sculptures they honestly looked like hellraiser stuff I was a, I'm a dark person I think sometimes on my inside but I don't look dark on the outside anyway and I was hooked forever and then I ended up going to Emily Carr University of Art and Design and becoming a professional artist. I've been showing galleries all over uh, Vancouver and the Florida mainland and that was the moment that it hit me that I wanted to make art. I'll never forget it. It was, it was just this overwhelming connection and I'm sure you have that feeling as well. And I want kids to feel that. So for my curriculum and for the resources that you'll see in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Ms. Artastic, and my membership, which is the curriculum called Artastic Collective, um, you're going to see that there are a lot of different art lessons and that they look like or as though they, they really represent the artists that they were inspired by. So, or the art movement. So they're not necessarily my own style of creating. And I think that's important. Sometimes I see a lot of things on Pinterest or on websites or in art books. And the style you can tell is created by the same person over and over and over again. And that's just going to translate into students creating that style and then calling it an Emily Carr or calling it whatever. And I don't think that is necessarily helpful because we want them to create with their own style or be exposed to a variety of styles so that they can find something that speaks to them when they begin to create their own art of their own ideas or work in their sketchbooks. So as a creator of a curriculum and as someone who is a professional artist, it's very important to me that I step away from my own style of art making and that I indulge and explore and express different styles of art making and different ways to express, to experiment, sorry, with art mediums. The reason is that, be is because I want to make sure that these art projects um, expose kids to different styles of art making and different artists that, and different art projects and of, of inspired by different art movements. I just really want them to have the opportunity to try lots of things, essentially. Try lots of things, try new things, right? We don't know if we don't like it unless we try it. So for instance, if I am creating a resource um, for, um, either something that's historical Japanese artworks or maybe something that's inspired by Emily Carr. I really just stepped away from my own style of art making when I was designing these art lessons and I really ensured that I captured the true essence of those original artworks and the artist. So I just spent time um, 
just observing their marks and how they made it, researching the artist, and just really noticing the marks that they made on the surface of their canvases. And that true essence is what I wanted to capture with my art lesson designs. So I really want teachers to be able to look at a lesson and then say, wow, that is the style of historical Japanese artworks, or that is the style of a mid medieval tapestry, or that is the style of an Alma Wizzy Thomas. And then they can transfer that to the imaginations of students and inspire them with a range of different ways to create. So with the Artastic Collective membership, you're not always going to see cute cookie cutter art projects that all have the same style of art making for every single project. Although there are some cute ones, of course, right? I'm, I will, I try to do everything, <laughs> okay? Um, but yeah, they're not the same style of art making for every single art project, no matter the different units or subject matters or art history movement. You're going to find art lessons that truly represent the art history movement or truly represent that artist that they are representing. You're going to find unique and creative art lessons that you're not going to find anywhere else because I've truly dug deep into my soul to develop these lessons that are going to stand out from any other art curriculum out there. And right now they are, and right now the Artastic Collective is an open for enrollment right now. So let's dig in and learn a little bit more about what the Artastic Collective curriculum has to offer. The Artastic Collective membership. Join the membership for art teachers that will save you time and provide you with culturally diverse lessons that are integrated with the elements and principles and art history. Lesson planning is made easy with the membership. So consider your lesson planning days over. When you're a member, you get to pick um, a category of carefully curated art lessons in the art resource library and then just teach. The examples are already made. The display sign for your bulletin board is done. The lesson plan is made. The worksheets, rubrics, reflections, and other forms of assessment are included. Your time will be spent teaching. Have fun and get your freedom back. It's the proven platform that all instructors need to know about. So stop wasting time and frustrations dealing with the endless hassles and headaches of organizing, searching for new art lesson ideas, scrolling through Facebook groups or Pinterest and lesson planning. Here at the Artastic Collective, I will handle all of that for you and so much more. You will get to enjoy things like step-by-step -step tutorials, either slides or video format, a creative and diverse art curriculum, pre-planned content and resources, a proven course to help you grow as an instructor, and a supportive community to connect and learn from. And that's just the beginning. Take your teaching to the next level and feel the weight of planning and organizing fall right off your shoulders. Embedded with culture, the elements and principles and art history, this membership is more than information. It's a transformation. Explore a range of artists and art movements such as Frida Kahlo, Surrealism, Pop Art, Ancient Greece, Prehistoric Art, Emily Carr, Wayne Thibode, Yayoi Kusama, Alma Woodsy Thomas, and Jean-Michel Basquiat, and more. Play with themes such as space, social emotional learning, or SEL, growth mindset, ocean, rainforest, Thailand, India, Mexico, Canada, and more. Dive deep into all the elements of art and principles of design with hands-on opportunities. Of course, enjoy a new bundle of lessons each month for 24 months in artists and art history, themes and the elements and principles. Of course, you can also get all the art lessons you'll ever need in my holidays and seasonal section. These massive sections will be released in a big chunks over six month period and it will give you art lessons perfect from K through elementary into the middle school years that are perfect for every single holiday and season. I also have opportunities to explore ceramics and sculptures with your students with easy to teach lessons. Stress-free clay is coming your way with the membership. Of course, I have the exclusive art teacher growth course, the valued over 
$297 and it's included in your membership. It is exclusive to members. You can't access this course anyway else. Learning never ends, especially for teachers and instructors. Discover vital information to help you grow as a teacher and connect with your class in new and exciting ways. This course is about helping increase your confidence, teaching abilities, and support system. Start growing as an instructor today by signing up with the Artastic Collective now. Strengthen resolve, increase confidence, and learn insightful methods. I'll cover Topics such as lesson planning, organizing, productivity, assessment, reflective teaching practices, total participation, critiques, fast finishers, classroom management, and more in this packed course that is exclusive to the members of the Artastic Collective. As well, you can explore the members-only forum called The Community, where you can talk to, collaborate with, ask questions, get answers, bounce around ideas, or whatever. I'll be there too. You won't be lost in a giant Facebook group. I will see you, and we will see you. So what are you waiting for? To better support art teachers, I created the Artastic Collective. With the Artastic Collective Art Resource Library membership for art teachers, my mission is to provide you with monthly prepared art lessons, resources, and activities that will allow you to free up your time and live your life. Whether that means traveling, pursuing your hobbies, or spending time with your family. Every single month, your art library is going to grow with brand new releases in the elements of art and principles of design, themes, artists in art history, and of course, your holidays and seasonal section will also grow for two, for six months. This membership is intended for elementary and middle school teachers. So this is the art curriculum that is designed for art teachers. So join the other art teachers and receive access to art lessons in my most popular art resource libraries, including holidays and seasonal, ceramics and sculpture, and sketchbooks. You'll receive a new bundle or unit every month in the elements and principles, themed units, and artists and art history art resource libraries for 24 months, as long as you retain your membership. You'll get ex access to the exclusive members only forum, my art teacher challenges called the journey of success, the professional development section, my exclusive year long art teacher growth course, my exclusive directed drawing series with episodes exclusive to members with no commercials that are all art themed. And of course, you're going to create art projects your students will love. So it's time to join, head on over to www.artasticcollective.com and enroll now while enrollment is only open for this limited time, only a few more weeks and then it's closing and that is it until January. So you cannot just join anytime, you have to join now because it's all scheduled and it's all um, set up in a way that guides you through your school year so you don't have to worry about anything because I will be there to help you and support you. All the planning is done. You can just feel the stress melt away with a click of a button. So if you wanna take a look at some sneak peek uh, preview videos and some videos showing what kind of lessons I'll be making and just some information uh, more in depth, please visit www.artasticcollective.com and preview now or simply Google Artastic Collective. You can find that link in the description of the show notes, but you need to act now because if you wait, the opportunity will be gone. So I'm Kathy Mizzer, I'm Kathy McGivern, Ms. Artastic. Your action item is this. Head on over to artasticcollective.com and enroll now. I'll see you in the forum. I'm so excited. I know this is going to be the transformation you've been looking for so that you can say hello to having a bit more of your life back. This is Kathy McGivern signing off.